Yeah, go ahead and just give a, a little bit of background about Meyer when you guys uh, started the company and then when you started with Streamline. So Meyer Vacation Rental started business back in 1967. We were actually the first vacation rental company on the island. And back then it was a much different picture. We were started with the namesake of, of Mr. George Meyer. He had actually homesteaded thousands of acres here um, on the island and is responsible for us being a city today and having parks, schools, churches, he donated a lot of that land in order to make a community here and to, to build a tourist industry. So we are owned by Sheila Hodges. She's sole owner and has been since the early 90s. We manage today a little over 1,100 properties or so. We have a mix of um, single family homes from one bedrooms all the way up to, to 20 bedrooms. And we also have a mix of condominiums. We're in about 180 different condominium complexes across our stretch of coast, which goes from Fort Morgan, Alabama, Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, Alabama, and just over the state line into Perdido Key, Florida. So we started, actually we have some old reservation tablets here that, and when I say tablets, I mean paper tablets, not electronic tablets that we used um, in the 70s and the 80s. Before that, um, we actually have employees who were still with us that, that were here during that time. Before that, they shared a board that was on the wall and that's where we kept track of our properties and our calendar, our reservations that were coming in. And if someone canceled, they would just, you know, reach back there and they would just erase it. Um, and as we started growing, they had to do away with that and they all shared a paper tablet that had all of our reservations and our, our properties on it and they would keep track of them that way. Our first system was RMS. And that was an old DOS-based system that we were on actually when I did start at the company about 15 years ago. And uh, I would come to work and we would page throughout the building. Um, if you have any ports, let them go because there were so many portals that you could have with RMS and we had outgrown it. We had more employees that needed access to the system than the system could handle. And we had more units in the system than it could handle. So every day we came to work kind of waiting on it to implode. Uh, we knew we had to do something and there was just um, not a lot of great options. So we, we tried to do our own thing for a little while, which actually, while it didn't work out, served us well. It, it, we had a little spinoff that had a bit of a proprietary system that's helped us along the way for quite a few years. Um, but we ended up converting onto Property Plus at the time, and I think that was 06, 07. And we thought we would be on Property Plus for two or three years. We were just going to bridge a gap. And we ended up on that system for more than 10. We knew it was time to find a system that was one that would grow with us, that we could grow with, that had a long-term sight and passion for the industry, a desire to develop and not just be a one-size-fits-all, you know, um, we, we know that how we do business today is not how we'll do business tomorrow. We're constantly growing, we're innovating, we're proud of that, and we wanted a technology partner that valued some of those same principles. We ended up finding Streamline, um, I think at a Verma conference. And we had spoken to them in years past, but um, they hadn't quite gotten to the point where we felt like we would be a good partner. And so, timing worked out perfectly that when we were ready to finally start making a move, um, they had developed the system and enhanced some things that we really needed. And um, so I think it was uh, at the end of 2016 that we made the big conversion and leaped over and we have been with Streamline since then. We're going to back up a little bit. How did you personally get in the industry? People who know me know that I grew up in this industry. Um, I am the youngest of four children. My mom was uh, in the industry and um, brought me to work with her and I played under her desk when I was growing up. I would run around and harass everybody in the office because I wanted to know what they were doing and I wanted to play with their highlighters. And so I just, I grew up with um, just a sense of comfort around the industry. The real estate industry, the vacation rental industry have always loved communicating with guests. Even as a young person, 
I thought being at the front desk was just one of the coolest jobs that somebody could have. All the different people that came in and all the different beach properties and connecting them, they were always happy. And um, I was always attracted to that. But as I got older, I wanted nothing to do with this industry. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I, and it, it was, it was because I grew up with, um, with s someone who was just such a dominant force in the industry and in our local community. And I felt like I, you know, I have to leave this community in order to be my own person. I will never be able to get out from underneath the shadows of what my mother had built. And um, so I did, I left and I got a degree in international relations and my minor was in Latin American and Caribbean affairs. And I thought I would end up in a nonprofit somewhere or working at a port or doing something completely different than what I am. <laughs> um, so to make a long story short, my mom got sick, very sick. She was in ICU. She's fine today. Um, and during that time, my family got together and my siblings, and again, I'm the youngest of four. So they had families, they had careers, they had lives. And I had just graduated college and I was floundering. I didn't know what I wanted to do, where I was going to go. And they just kind of looked at me and they were like, you're it sister. Like, <laughs> we don't know what's going on. And if something happens to her, somebody needs to have a clue. So you're nominated. So my mom got better and I decided, um, I, I do love hospitality. At that time, I thought I should get a job with a Chamber of Commerce or Convention and Visitors Bureau so that I could be involved in, in, in tourism through those avenues. So through that whole process, I thought, you know, if I'm going to be a part of the tourism industry, there's no better place than to, to go back to one of the most amazing beaches in the world a uh, place that I was lucky enough to call home and start a career with Meyer, And that's what I did about 15 years ago. Hit upon once again, what ultimately led you to decide streamline over any of our competitors? Based off our needs, while there are a lot of players, there just aren't a lot of viable players. So when you consider really what you want a system to accomplish for you, it really narrows things down. Um, and you know, you we talk a lot at different trade shows and forums and conferences that we have about one-stop solutions versus a la carte solutions. And that's a personal preference. For us, we knew going into this that we had to have someone who could handle our size. And we hadn't had that. And we had had a lot of challenges because of that. Um, what works for a company with a hundred doesn't work for a company with a thousand. So we needed some really unique um, tools that helped us schedule housekeepers. You know, we, we don't just schedule two or three housekeepers, we schedule two or three hundred housekeepers. So it changes the dynamics of your needs when you have that. So I say all of that to say that while there is an overwhelming amount of, of companies that have become software providers within the industry, there's not an overwhelming number of those companies who can manage and, and scale. So our choices were somewhat limited because of that. We're also an escrow state. So I recommend everybody <laughs> follow escrow, um, even if your state doesn't require it. The third big component that I wanted was again, someone who valued the creativity that we had as a company and who understood that who we are today might not be who we are tomorrow and our needs might shift and change as the industry does. We don't want to be locked in. We, we want to have that creative and innovative culture and we want to partner with somebody who values that. What features in Streamline do you say you guys lean on the most? Within Streamline, obviously, you want something. We have a huge seasonal workforce, right? So you want a system that's easy to teach, that's intuitive. And while it's not the most important thing in the world, it's always helpful to have a system that's aesthetically pleasing, that someone doesn't mind being in when you sit in front of that screen all day long. It also helps with the intuitiveness of the system. It's a nice system to be in. It flows well, and that's meaningful, especially when you have to manage a lot of different onboarding throughout the year. Um, obviously, going from a, a system where we had a server-based system to an online-based system, uptime is 
critical for us. We certainly can't go down. You know, our big season is in the summertime, but that doesn't mean that's when our bookings come in. So the worst thing that could happen is to be in, you know, Black Friday or Cyber Monday or the first of January when these families are together, some of our big booking days and have the system glitch or go down. So we really wanted reliability when it came to system uptime and Streamline provided that as well. So again, when you really sit back and you think about what's important, what's really important for your company, a lot of things are kind of ancillary or you can work around them or you can very easily tack them on, add them on, but there are some components that you just don't survive without. And for us, certainly uptime, that's business mission critical. You know, you, you said you had bumps in the road and that's kind of inevitable when switching systems. How are you, at, what was the key to kind of powering through that and kind of helping have us help you and you help us in the process to get to where you need to be? You know, Streamline was with us through conversion, right? So we, they, they were on site through those hard days. And once we had converted, um, they didn't disappear, although I think sometimes they probably wanted to. For, for people who, who seek out Meyer because they feel like they will be a good partner for us, I usually tell them, be careful what you ask for. We are not an easy partner. We, we are very demanding. We do not like to be told how we should do business. We like to explain how we do business and then we like for you to accommodate our needs. And that's not just Streamline, but that's a lot of our vendor partners. We, we've been in business for over 50 years. We know how this works in our area. We're masters in our market. So um, we expect folks to, to value that in us. So we had meetings even after conversion as much as we needed to. There initially, as we were closing out our first months, um, closing out our first year, we had meetings daily if we needed to. And um, even as some of the, even as Carlos and some of the executives in the company started backing off, as you would expect that they would, they, they were replaced with someone who knew us, who knew our company, that was a phone call away. So when we had questions with statements or there was an update and something shifted and we didn't know what it was or, or how to fix it or what it meant for us or um, a button was moved and we didn't know where it went. You know, all of those things that are going to happen, at least you know that you've got a reliable contact on the other side. You don't have to wait on the phone for hours. You don't have to wait for someone to come back from vacation for a week. Um, you know, you've got access to a team that can help you through those bumps that are going to be in the road. One of the things we're hearing consistently in these uh, interviews is, uh, a shift in our customer service over the last 18 months. What has been your experience over four years? One of the most significant things that has gotten us through the last four years, you know, you're, you've got points of frustration and that my owners have points of frustration with me. My guests do. We're in the hospitality business. We're all in the service business. So we know that those blunders are going to happen, but what makes them all better is knowing that you've got someone who cares. You have someone who's invested in your return and they want you to be successful. And so no matter how frustrating you are to them or how frequently you're, you're on them and asking questions, um, they're there to help you make sure that you get through it. What would you say to someone who's considering switching to Streamline, especially like an enterprise level company? Thinking long term, just I think it's important that you identify those things that are most important to you and, and put them on the table. And and listen to the response that you get or ask for a couple of referrals. There are, I've talked to several folks who were looking to, to make a move uh, and they were trying to decide the best option for them. So I might give you an answer that you want to hear and I might give you an answer that you don't want to hear. But at the end of the day, it's about complete transparency and knowing what you're walking into because you, you do not want to have to convert again. You want this to be the last time for a long time. Any parting words as we close this out? Can you just put a ticker at the bottom of my screen that says this was done on a very rainy day and Michelle's hair was wet <laughs> and she wasn't <laughs> aesthetically ready for this video. Thank you for uh, doing the case study with us. Absolutely. Good luck with putting everything together and hopefully you've got some stuff you can condense down. Yeah. Great <laughs> stuff. Thank you, Michelle. Have a Thanks. Good one. Have a good day. All right. Bye.